pretty much presses on the crankshaft. It's very difficult to get off once it's on. Pricing, and you got a little list over here. Yeah, actually. and they all have this internal oil, uh, oiling, Anything that like, little. Yeah. Good morning, one of Tor Custom Cycle is gonna work on a video. Uh, pricing, pricing of the cam install. Cold start. It. we're on site tour custom cycle is gonna do my oil change while uh, Mike and I are gonna be doing the video walking uh, through step by step all the things we did on my bike and the prices for you guys just as I pull into tour custom cycles look what I see a beautiful lowrider ST over here uh, I don't know if it's composite if it's carbon fiber but it's beautifully done Look at this. That's paint or something or some kind of a D. That's a decal. I guess it's a wrap with some uh, pinstriping on it. It's nicely done. I see Legends in the front or at least the Legends sticker. The flat out bar by Harley. Oh, this, cool. this is Aaron. Just Aaron, I just hey. saw. Just, How are you guys? Nice to meet you. Uh, he just, uh, I just I'm saw. I'm a fan him. of Sandy. Oh, thank I'm you, a fan man. Of thank you. Video. Thank you. I just, it's, he owns this AST that I just came across and it's, it's beautifully done. One of my favorite accents. That is right? nice. I know. Pat, and it's that is so cool. Who does that? Okay. Uh, Mike is like, okay, how do you want to plan this? Let's not plan it. Let's just start rolling the, the camera. And we set up all the items over here that are needed. This is pretty much, we set up all the parts that went into uh, my, my build, my cam pretty much, except right. for we're missing one or two parts that we don't have. Uh, and uh, we're gonna run through all the parts we needed and Mike is gonna give us a breakdown of, of prices and options and stuff like that, right? Right. Yeah, okay. So what do we, what okay. do we start so with? So basically when we do a, uh, a stage two here, yeah. um, there's a lot of shops that'll just do either a package, the uh, package kit that comes from either SNS fueling. Um, we kind of go a little bit of an extra step okay. and we know there's weak points in the Milwaukee eight motors. So we want to strengthen some of those weak points. Okay. So we kind of came up with our own kit from is that uh, what we did on my bike also Stra yeah straightening it up oh, yeah okay. so what we did was we came up with our own kit to kind of use different parks we mix and match we've done so many of them that we know what works together well right and what um will be the most effective quietest running motor okay because we did we do have some you know parts that we've put together or we've had other bikes come in with noises and we know Kind of what to put together i got you. so i just want to i'll give you a quick rundown here of, okay. what, of what we have here on the table yep so all of our stage twos without a doubt we use the sns oil pump okay regard regardless what year the bike is because yeah. i had i had a 2020 electric glide at the time mm -hmm. and i was told at the time that no it's a newer bike the oil pump is really good you don't really need it but you're saying you recommend it no matter what. We recommend it no matter what. If you're going to build a high-performance motor, we're going to put a high-performance oil pump in there. Okay. 2020 and up, supposedly the Harley's uh, oil pumps are okay. But I've seen it where 
we, we actually have seen it firsthand where there's been bikes in here that have had issues with the stock pump and plate. Yeah. So for it's it's not a lot of money and you're in there anyway, take the thing out and change it. So So it's worth it's definitely worth the uh extra seven hundred, eight hundred, nine hundred dollars, whatever it it's costs. A, it's about eight hundred dollars. Eight hundred dollars, but gives you peace of mind for years for years to come, right? Right, right. Better fueling, more pressure, more uh outlets, uh better right better uh a better pump it, it's better you get better oil pressure you get better oil flow okay and, and that is key mm -hmm. you know because better fresher and oil flow is going to keep the motor cool okay so. okay got that so we, so, we, so that we is, go with yeah. the sns oil pump mm -hmm. paired with the sns cam plate now why we like the sns cam plate over some of the other cam plates is because if they've got the brass inserts Okay. The fueling does in the race series, but in their regular standard series, they don't. So they've got a few variations of the of the cam plate, and they all have this internal oil uh, oiling. Anything that, that little. Yeah, and then the, it's more pronounced. You can see it more with the brass bushings. Right, right. But SNS just makes one plate, and that's it. Okay. So. Yeah, I got you. And that brass probably uh, helps with less friction between the cam. Uh, the camshaft itself that spins and turns over there and that brass that brass uh, bushing probably right. right and i'd have to look i'm not 100 percent sure but like some of the older pumps that bushing was replaceable or sorry not pumps plates plates i got you i don't know if the m8 is a replaceable bushing got you okay so we, these always pair together these always pair together right. this is not necessary but we do it this is the sns uh, cam chain tensioner, yeah, which mounts right here on the cam plate, right, and uh, and ten puts, puts tension on the right. It's a cheap part. Um, it's inexpensive to do it, and you know, just replacing the Harley one's good, but you know, yeah, this is our preference. This is what yeah. we do. Okay, these moving down to here. These are your S. These are your tappet block. Uh, or sorry, your tappet cuffs. Cuffs. Yeah. Okay. So what these cuffs will do. Once your tappets are in the engine, this cuff will sit over the tappet. Right, right now it's it's, it's because of the plastic. plastic. Yeah. Can, yeah. Can, can, nah, don't worry about it. Down. It's all right. Yeah. So this will sit in here, okay? Mm -hmm. And you know the tappets will go up and down. So they don't rotate. It stops. It's the, an that stops it. I got yeah. you. So it stops it from. And the reason why we put these in to replace the ones that Harley provides is because the Harley ones are made of a pla piece of, they're plastic. Yeah, plastic, we all know. Okay. That. And I've seen a lot of motors come in here without them replaced. Like, once again, it's our preference. These are, we're, we're trying to bulletproof these motors. I've actually possible. never seen anybody open up a, a motor and not replace them. I have. You did? Mm -hmm. Of course. Yeah. I opened a motor up not too long ago that came in with an oiling problem. It had a cam in it. Um, had to stock pump and plate. We, mm -hmm. It it had such a, an oiling and heat problem that we had to wind up replacing the pistons and cylinders. And it had the plastic cuffs in there also. That's, okay. And this is a cheap part. What yeah. It yeah, like? it's just a little bit of aluminum. I think it's right. aluminum. Yeah. yeah, it's aluminum. Okay. So then the fueling race lifters, um, we've been having the most luck with their race series lifters. Now, keep in mind, fueling makes a bunch of different ones. Not most luck, best results. Yeah, best, they right. make a HP, they make an HP plus. This is their oh, you race say lifter. The race lifter is their best results that yes. you've been getting. I right. got you. We've had less failure rate with these. Um, we're getting the best results. And these are the rollers where pretty much... Yeah, uh, they're all roller lifter. They're all uh, all rollers. But so the camshaft rolls on this. Yeah. Okay. So we really haven't had them collapse or make any noise. When you hear a ticking in your engine, a lot of times these, mm -hmm. these can pump down or collapse, and that's where your tick will come from. Got you. We pair that with the fueling uh, solid push rods mm -hmm. in some applications. Okay. I'd say 90% of our cams can be installed with the solid push rods. The only time, actually, the bag's open, so I'm oh, yeah, slide sure. one out. That is your exhaust one. Yeah. 
So the exhaust and intake, and it's nice because the exhaust and the intakes are slightly different sizes. Right. So they mark them. So the, the intake is 10.365. Yeah. And the exhaust is 10.585. Gotcha. So it's nice that they mark them so you can tell the difference. Okay. The only time you can't use these is if you're installing a cam that doesn't have a stock base circle. So okay. when I talk about a base circle, here's a cam. This is a Star Racing 3030 cam. As you can see, this is what we have in your bike. Right. Okay. When it when it peaks up here and it comes down to the bottom at the 180 from the uh, that is the from base. the top that is your base circle, and if I took a Harley cam right now, same distance it would be the same distance from here to here. Okay, you. so we can use solids. If solids it, if you're going in from the top, right? And we always do. You always specific. You would never. You okay? We always do, and that brings me to the next part. Here. Okay. Okay. Um, this is the fueling rocker shaft stud and nut kit. Okay. Okay. Harley has a 12 point ARP bolt that holds the rocker shafts down. Okay. Um, we have seen not, not too often, but we have seen one or two bikes come in here that the ARP bolts have started to back their way out and the rocker shaft was lifting out of its perch. Okay, and okay. this this is a... strengthens it down. What you do is you take the stud, you drive the stud down into the head with red mm -hmm. Loctite, and then you take the nut and you drop the rocker shafts on. You take the nut and run that down with red Loctite also. So that that uh, I don't say prevents or strengthens the it strengthens the top. The top. It, it and these won't back out like a bolt will. Got gotcha. you. Okay. This is also a gear that we put in all of our our builds right okay this is a fueling pinion gear that goes on the crankshaft mm -hmm. this gear pretty much presses on the crankshaft it's very difficult to get off once it's on okay the reason for that is there's no movement like no this wobble yeah. okay if you wobble on your crankshaft, that is a timing issue. It's as going well. to set the time. It's going to it could skew the timing on Somewhat, your motorcycle. Yeah. yeah, yeah, not much, but yeah, this is a pre this is a high strength press on gear. Yeah, okay, and it is a little wider, a tiny bit than the stock one, so it does keep the cam chain tighter gotcha. on there. Okay, we always use comedic gaskets. We love comedic gaskets. Um, they are. They are the best. Um, okay, the set, the kit. I see it even has the... It comes with exhaust gaskets. Exhaust gasket, so it comes with the exhaust gaskets, the, the rocker tops, all of the O-rings to put the engine back together. Mm -hmm. And it even comes with a Timken bearing, cam bearing, which you which saw on your... you put on my bike, right? Right, we saw this on your last video, how we have full rollers... Right, right. Versus the plastic in between in the cage on the stock Harley right. cam bearing. And that's pretty much an industry industry standard. Yeah. Like a gold standard. Mm -hmm. Okay. Timken bearing. This kit also will come, it's actually a fueling kit that comes with these gaskets, but it will also come with 12 point ARP cam and crank bolts to replace the ones that are in their stock from Harley. Okay. And that, I like ARP, um, and the bolts that come from Harley, like the the crank gear mm -hmm. is a half inch drive, so a half inch socket, and the cam gear is a 916, so now you're bouncing between sockets. The the new uh, one that comes with this kit, is just the same size head. It just makes it more convenient also. I got you. Now, we had, for this display, we have the Star Racing 3030 cam. This is the cam that's in your bike. Um, Which is amazing yes which i love it this is the cam that we push on an, uh mostly to our clients lately right yeah. yeah and look i mean people have their preferences i've got a bike on the lift right now mm -hmm. that got all of these parts here that you see on the table but, but he's got a, he's got a 475 cam. Right, which is also a great cam great cam i mean a great it's like mr old reliable they call it right. you know all-rounder yeah right yep and we'll do any cams here. We'll do, I mean, the, the top three that we do would be the SNS, the fueling, and the star. Okay. Okay. Um, now, the cams are all priced differently. 
So the star being the most expensive cam. Okay, so you want to walk, uh, let's walk on pricing now. People uh, got to see the parts, want to mm -hmm. talk pricing, and you got a little list over here. Yeah, so I have show, a little list. Show, can I share it? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay. So I have a list here, and this is, so all the parts listed at the top of this page is all the parts we just went over on the table. Now, because of the difference in pricing on the cams, that's yeah. where your pricing comes in. If we're going to use any SNS cam out there, whether 475, et cetera, um, that parts and labor to install that cam minus your tuning is going to be 3216. Okay. So now the fueling cams are a little bit more expensive. So the fueling cams come in somewhere right around 3286. Okay. So I come into, okay, go ahead. And then the star racing cams are more expensive and they come in at 3346. Okay. Now when you, oh, you want to go through this and then I'll ask you if. Uh, right. So now. With these three cams, if you're staying below a 500 lift, you don't need to replace your valve springs. Right. It's optional strengthening at that point. Okay. But if we do like a 572 star, then we have to. Mm -hmm. So now the two grades of springs that we use here and we're most comfortable with are the SNS Sidewinders mm -hmm. and the Star Racing Springs. Okay. So the SNS Sidewinders would be an additional parts and labor, $626. So that okay. includes the spring, the labor, and because we're pulling the lower rocker at this point, you mm -hmm. need a lower rocker gasket. So that's okay. all included in that price. Okay, and the star? The star springs come in at about $805. So, so this is additional cost because you're actually, at this stage, we're already opening up the top. Right, so it's only another, it's like an hour, it's two hours to actually go further gotcha. so this includes the price of the spring two hours labor and a gasket okay so you did mention before uh this is the price without tuning so right. I, if i come over to your place you what you leave the bike without a tune or what what do you know so what we'll, we'll, we tune with the power vision okay so you don't have to have a power vision you can you don't have to have a unit you mean you don't have to have a unit okay you can come here i can we can sell you a power vision license so right. it's a license file. It's two hundred and fifty-seven dollars okay. for the license, and then we load that and we marry it to your ECU. Right. Okay. That is then. That's what we use to tune. Okay. Stage two tunes generally run four to six hours. Wait before you go before you go mm -hmm. into the tuning. Mm -hmm. So if I come over, I don't want to. I don't want a dyno session. I just okay. want a cam and get the bike running nicely i just need the additional 200 and whatever you said 257 dollars. and you put a map on it that would can, make the bike run decent decent not decent. great yeah. okay but if i want to have it optimized and that means i need to have it dyno then we too. dyno it yeah and that's uh like a session yes. or whatever mm -hmm. and that that is priced at what it's 120 an hour and they run these cams stage two is going to run four to six hours on okay. the dyno. So what is so what would so what would that be uh total if I want a dyno tune? So you're gonna be anywhere between four eighty and seven twenty on um, our hours plus the two hundred and fifty seven dollars for the license. You. Okay. And look, sometimes I mean some of them, depending on your exhaust and things like that, it could be on the lower end. Mm -hmm. But there's a lot of combinations and it's hard to say. So for an example, if you've got an SNS 475 and a very short exhaust two into one. Mm -hmm. That is a much longer dyno session because the SNS 475s hate short two into ones. Oh, so there's, there's a big drop of dip over a, there. There's a very difficult time tuning them. It just takes longer. That's okay. all. Uh, long pipes take a little shorter. You know that's why that's why we say four to six hours. Got you. There's a Got range. You. So guys, if I missed anything, if we missed anything, and you have a few more questions, just let us know down by uh, the comments area. A question. Mike is going to be on my uh, on that video uh, answering. I'll be answering if I don't know anything and he's not there. I'll ask him whatever. So uh, any additional questions, uh, let us know. I think I think we covered anything. Is there any more? Uh, so, are there any more topics that we want well, to cover? I mean, this is your basic stage two. Okay. Right. There are obviously other things that can be done during your stage two installation. Uh, throttle bodies intakes injectors oh, okay, things right. like that um which 
at the time of everything's taken apart, there's really no labor involved because you're there. Right. So if, you know, we have a couple of current customers right now that are bringing their bikes in mm -hmm. and we're doing throttle bodies and takes injectors. Um, we're doing other things to uh, make their bikes more powerful. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I didn't want anyone to think that this was just it. Right. You know? Yeah. So this is this is pretty much a basic map, a basic like uh, recipe. Yeah. Recipe. And then you can add a la carte if you want exactly. more stuff. Like I did, uh, I didn't need, uh, when I did the 485 lift, uh, the Star 3030, I didn't need uh, the springs, right? I didn't need the valve springs, need the springs, but I wanted right. to. I wanted Correct. to, so that I added that. Yeah, there, uh, there's gotcha. other things we do offer here. And when while we're doing your cam and pulling it apart, we let the client also choose for an additional $150 if they want to um, powder coat any of their tappet block covers, push rod tubes, anything like that. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a current client that we're coming in to do a build. He's here now and we're gonna change his covers to candy gold and his push and his tappet blocks will be a candy gold. Okay. So that's one other, that's, that is another service that we offer during the installation. If anybody, and I know a lot of you guys are gonna wanna contact how do they reach you? So the, either you can either reach out on Instagram. Uh, our Instagram page is torque underscore custom underscore cycles. Okay. If you don't have Instagram or you want to just reach out and have a conversation, you could reach us at our, our phone number here. It's 201-880-6440. And what is the address over here? The address is 221 Gracie Place in Hackensack, New Jersey. Got it. All right. Thank you so much. I'm sure people were asking for this video. They wanted to know pricing. They were like, how much did you pay? And we just gave you a great breakdown. And I, you've seen already in the videos before, craftsmanship is like top notch. Uh, just having my bike right now uh, serviced, oil changed and inspected after, after we put 500, 700 miles uh, mm -hmm. with our road trip. So thank you so much, buddy. No, no problem. Anytime. Yep. Uh, that's the oil being replaced and changed. I'm gonna do a uh, service. Hi, Sandy. Hey. <laughs> hey Mike. Mike is doing. This Mike is doing my uh, service today. Thank you, buddy. And yelling at Mike at the same time. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Want... Every time I come over here, there are new and new uh, uh, improvements in the aesthetics and uh, efficiency. This gasket wall now, very cool. Like you got lifts there, right. here, you got lifts here. You know, How many lifts do you currently have? One, four. two, three, four. Yeah. And the dyno. Yeah.